Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn few more visuals as you can see uh, on the title. They are pie and donut charts. And remember that visualization is the key to deliver information clearly and effectively to your consumers. So chosen visual must deliver the information the way you want. So uh, let's get started here. So I have here this um, donut and pie chart. And as you can see that they requires minimum explanations because we wanted to um, show to consumer here that what is the volume and what is the share of each category uh, among all categories. And that's what exactly it's doing perfectly fine. Uh, for example, like Asia here has a 21% uh, a share in the all continent sales. So that's what uh, it is. However, some people uh, says that it does not show the changes over time. Yes, that is true. However, I have an idea to improve the donut and um, pie chart performance and I'll share at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to open up Power BI. And as you can see, I have a couple of tables here in my fields pane and I'm going to choose a pie chart from the visualizations a little bit bigger. And we are going to choose a channel name as our um, legends. And I'm going to choose a sales amount, the total sales um, for my values. And as you can see, within two clicks, we have a nice chart here, uh, which shows category, their volume and their percentage in the uh, in the total um, category. Now, if I click on this donut chart, then exactly the same information it has. And uh, it also has the same formatting options. So they, these both charts, as I mentioned earlier, they both are identical except their look. Okay, so we are going to learn formatting for only one. And uh, let's go back to the pie chart and let's look at other options here. So we already use our, our uh, legend field for channel name. Uh, then we have a details and then we have a values. Values also we already um, use for sales. So let's look at the details. So I have another category which we can use it. So I'm going to put it um, a geography continent name in it. Yes. And as you can see that I have three continents and this uh, four channel names. So three into four, 12, four, uh, 12 parts of the pie. So uh, whenever you have more than five number of parts in pie or donut, then it becomes little bit crowdy. And so I suggest that if you have more than five uh, share in a pie or donut, then don't use this chart because it's, it becomes like unreadable. You cannot get enough information easily. So that is that. Let me remove a continent name here and let's look at the formatting. So uh, on the format tab then, the first section is general section which shows X and Y position of the uh, of the visual on the page and then width and height. You can change width and height here but it's easily you can do it by borders. So uh, that is that and let's look at the second thing, legends, which we already used here. However, you can format or uh, change their position on the um, on the visual here. Like you can, I usually prefer bottom center, so it can easily in less space it can easily show uh, legends here. Uh, so you can change that. You can change the name itself. So channel name, but I, if you want only channel, then channel. You can change color, font, text size, bold, italic, all that you can do here. Then the next one is data color. So you can change all these four colors if you want here. Then the detail label. So these are our labels. There are a couple of options. I most of the time I use all detail labels so you can get everything like now this channel name as well you got it here. 
so if you want you can get rid of this uh, legends you can turn it or turn it off if now the shapes so the shapes here um, this one is changing the orientation of the pie so if I change it then it change the orientation and so the labels as well you can format the title itself so the name of the title for example like this I, I want spacing channel and name between there and then you can again you can change font color background uh, color you can change the alignment I like in center so that is you can do here text size you can do all that thing here okay now and then the background then background also you can change the color and the transparency um, and all other uh, things are like you can it's self-explanatory so uh, if you change like a border uh, if you turn it off and you increase it you will see what what's happened here see this border I don't really use it but that is that so and there there is a tooltip as well at the end um, tooltip you can change the text color and all so that is all about the formatting these two visuals now as I promise let me show you that how I improved uh, performance of it so I have another page here and as you can see here I have this beautiful visual and uh, let's see how I, I made it and as you can see I have these two different visuals okay so you can see that in this visual I have year and profit and in this visual I have continent name and values now let's put it back this uh, the bigger one uh, on this and then uh, I'm going to go to format and selection pane so now selection pane shows uh, both uh, visuals so uh, while holding the control key I'm going to click on this one as well so now I have both selected and I'm going to group them together and after grouping them you can see that now they behaves like one visual now what I did that I um, put it this small one uh, on the this format pane uh, I send it back so that is in the back and this bigger one is in the front and from the format pane I made it transparent from the background so from the background by default it is zero transparency then you cannot see the behind uh, visual but I put it that on the transparent so you can see it. so uh, this uh, and this visual it becomes like more uh, informative nice and beautiful and you can see that if I select one part like the North America then it shows me that profit and if I choose this Asia then it shows me that profit okay uh, so, like all three years and uh, you can you can do all that so it is interactive and it looks beautiful I have another one here as well where I use my bar chart there um, in middle of the donut so guys this is all about um, about uh, the donut and the pie chart if you like the content of the video then please uh, comment share like and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching